Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we are talking about, of course, MMAT. You're doing what you will with this information. No financial advice ever on the channel. Be sure we're dropping likes if you want to, and if you also uh, like this type of content, you subscribe into the channel. So, uh, overall on the day, minus 3%. Wish we were still rocking and rolling this morning. <laughs> it looks like uh, I bingo bango did again. Uh, couldn't withstand those gains. Maybe because the market just stayed pretty wonky all day. Uh, we'll look at some new fears. CPI data will quick touch it on based on that. Uh, slight miss, not a huge huge catalyst and not a big enough miss to really drive the stock market. Uh, new fears coming out with slow growth that we'll kind of touch on, uh, but kind of leads towards what I do believe as meta materials, uh, why it makes them win even stronger and better play in the stock market. So uh, not worried in the least bit here. We wouldn't be surprised if that's why we've seen some of this action here going on. Uh, and then overall market just couldn't withstand uh, the Tuesday wonkiness. So uh, in my mind, not a huge deal. Love to see that we held over $5 and only minus 3% on the day. If you went to uh, most sectors on the day, they were pretty brutally red. Uh, I do suspect so. Uh, and just looking at overall market, all three indexes were in the red. So uh, just keep that in mind. Not worried. Not a meta problem overall. So uh, we'll be looking at the new fears of the market and kind of why that might be a good thing for meta materials. Uh, and then we'll be looking at some events that we do have coming up here uh, this week and then uh, week after that. So if we see here first, meta materials sending out a tweet today uh, talking about this event is less than one week away we're a proud diamond sponsor uh, we've been over this quite a bit in the past the program this year is outstanding uh thank you andrea lu who is one of our scientists also i tweeted out uh that mark will be a key speaker who is also on our advisory board uh as well so love to see us a part of that and of course uh being the diamond sponsor is always a cool deal to see so uh this is that event will be 20th through the 25th of september <coughs> we know that nanotech deal uh voting should be september 28th so things kind of lining up uh pretty well there so if we look here back in the past on this event in 2009 George was actually a local organizer committee here. Uh, if you can see there, George Pakriakis. So, uh, love to see that. And then shortly after in 2010, uh, George started a company in UK. And then a year after that in 2011, uh, did start the company in Canada. So, uh, not necessarily that this event led to that, but uh, good to see that, that those were some steps taken after George was a part of this event. And they've continued to be a part of this uh, event. And Andre and uh, Nadar, and as well as uh, Mark have been and part of this event for quite some time uh key speakers and stuff like that so uh love to see them on our team so uh of course not necessarily a huge cast maybe we don't get new news out of this event but uh, maybe setting up things for the future and of course always better to get more and more eyeballs on us so i uh, just wanted to give you all a nice little tidbit with this hit history here uh george has been a part of this program for quite some time here uh if we look here things that we will be covering this week we will be live for this i think it's 11 a.m my time so central time uh i'll send out a, i'll remind draw tomorrow and then then as well thursday uh, but we will be live for this presentation here meta materials becoming big business once again this isn't necessarily exactly meta materials uh but it will be uh how meta materials is becoming big business so uh, we'll be looking at that if you want to be sure to tune into that live of course uh short numbers on the day not much change as is we know short manipulation is here uh seen a tweet today I think we were right around the 59% of the dark pools, of course. Uh, 30,000 according to your Fintel shares, short shares available, we know, due to the utilization. <coughs> being pretty high that uh there's not much ammo to be had and probably in my mind <laughs> was doing all they probably could to keep us under this 575 onto 6 because if we get over 670 uh 675 onto 7 then it could lead to some pretty big moves as i've kind of been pointing to uh and if we can get get that done by friday as we kind of touched on last night getting these options into the money could lead us to some gamma squeezes coming on uh so we would just have to see if we don't see any runs then of course those options do just expire worthless uh, and then we move on and stay patient and we look for uh the weeks ahead so if we look here at some possible uh catalyst for uh meta materials here in the uh upcoming future small caps are cheaper than large caps <clears throat> why long-term long investors should care so this is talking about the how they trade 42 percent above their average valuation talking about large caps 
sorry to pause there. So, uh, big evaluations for for your large caps. Mid caps, on the other hand, trade at 30% premium to their long-term valuation, and small caps stand at 9%. So as you can see, a lot more room to run. Uh, these the the new fear of the market since Treasury yields are going down uh, kind of points to slower growth and stuff like that. So your larger caps uh, would definitely not be the way that you want to go. So maybe some smaller smaller to mid caps uh, would be what you're looking for, and that is right around the range of meta materials uh, that you're looking at because there's plenty of room for growth, especially if uh, these larger ones are slowing down on growth. As for large caps, uh, pricey stocks should just a negative return 1% annually over the next decade. So as you can see here, not very... Uh good investment there according to this Bar Barron's articles we see small caps as an area of opportunity for long-term investors where valuations for the Russell 200 suggest uh, mid to high single digit analyzed returns over the next decade uh, and a re the relative PE versus small caps uh, versus historical average also su suggests small should be large over the next 10 years so uh, as you can see here maybe this leads to some potential buy maybe that's why uh, with fears now t turning towards slow growth uh maybe that's why we've seen some action here because i think once we get that nanotech a uh, deal deal done in september t uh towards the end of september first of october uh that will wipe away a lot of question marks from meta materials and who knows a lot of these fears sometimes the, the market reacts kind of kind of crappy shitty uh the first day and then they really subside the next day so maybe we're rocking and rolling uh next week and everything kind of gets or uh tomorrow and everything kind of gets uh back to going uh as we know inflation those fears should be gone by now uh we will see if this slow growth stays around but in my opinion that's not necessarily a bad thing for meta materials especially with these since we're such on the ground floor like I think, in my opinion, all we got is growth ahead of us. So uh, I think a lot more people are going to be interested in buying us. And I think leading up to that nanotech deal, and then shortly after nanotech approves us, hopefully on September 28th, uh, that will lead to even more buying pressure because people are like, man, these guys are about to have some serious, serious production uh, for their products. And that's kind of the, the biggest key that Meta Materials is missing right now. Uh, was going to have to wait till that Halifax headquarters was open. Uh, at the end of this quarter beginning of 2022 uh but once they get that nanotech deal done and then we already know that we will have seven million uh square meters to work with so uh that's pretty exciting stuff and i th i think it will bring a lot of attention to uh meta material stock price once that deal is approved got some events coming up here in september more 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 eyeballs on us is always good uh so if you want to be sure to tune into this event here on thursday coming up uh shorts definitely still here haven't covered i've never seen any freaking data that has said uh the shorts have covered whether it be in the torch or whether it be in the mmats uh so i'm not getting tricked here uh not worried in the least bit overall market pretty wonky and honestly meta materials held up relatively nicely i know it sucks that we gave up all these gains and turned red uh but for the most part a lot of things did get hammered throughout the market and just overall throughout the day as you can see down 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 turn so uh hopefully things get better tomorrow if not then maybe we look to test this 476 line uh, as we kind of touched on, I would be really surprised if we got under fours, even if the market did get pretty wonky here in the short term. And as we kind of pointed on, you got a great long term uh, things coming for meta materials. So, or the best play for meta materials is staying in it long term, in my opinion, not financial advice, of course. So, uh, and as we know, we got those short term catalysts as well. So, I'm still very excited here. Wish things would have kept on rocking. I thought <laughs> that I freaking nailed there today and then slowly just gave up these gains. Uh, maybe some manipulation in there as well, but we would just have to see uh but yeah things pretty much uh rocking and rolling still here from meta materials we'll be covering that presentation live appreciate all y'all that's pretty much it so i will see y'all uh tomorrow be like and subscribe yeah 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 see y'all later